Okay, welcome back. So in the last segment, we saw how to solve a matrix systems of a system of equations using MATLAB, either using the built-in inverse command or using a backslash b. And a backslash b is a little bit better and faster um, for a lot of reasons, okay? But what if I just gave you one of these equations? What if I gave you the equation Sally's age plus John's age plus Bob's age equals 60? Could you tell me what Sally, John, and Bob's age are? Right, the answer is no, you can't tell me what Sally and John and Bob's age are because there are infinitely many possibilities. If I lock in Sally's age at 20, there's still a ton of options for what John and Bob could be, right? John could be 10 and Bob could be 30, or Bob could be 10 and John could be 30, or any combination that adds up to this, okay? So if I only have one equation and three unknowns, um, this is an underdetermined system, underdetermined. And um, so underdetermined means I don't have enough information to determine a solution. And also you should notice that determined starts to sound a lot like determinant. Okay, so this thing doesn't have, uh, well, it's underdetermined. Okay. So that's one case where if I have not enough information, there's infinitely many solutions to the system. And in general, I can't find a unique, uh, special, great solution. Okay? Now, in, um, in MATLAB, I can still try to solve this. It's kind of interesting to try. So let's say A equals 1, 1, 1. That's Sally, John, and Bob and b is just this number 60, okay? And I'm still gonna try to solve for a times x equals b, where x is Sally, John, and Bob. And I'm gonna do it two ways. I'm gonna do it using backslash, okay? So if I do um, x equals a backslash b, MATLAB tells me that the right answer is x equals 60, 0, 0. So Sally is 60 and John and Bob haven't been born yet, or just were born. Okay, so this is what MATLAB thinks a good answer is. And it definitely satisfies the system because there's infinitely many solutions. This is one of them, okay? Now I can't take the inverse of A because it's not square. If I try, MATLAB will complain. It says error using inverse matrix must be square. Makes perfect sense. Um, but there is a technique called the pseudo-inverse, and we'll learn about the pseudo-inverse when we talk about singular value decomposition. But I could type p inv of a, okay? I can take the p inverse of a, and I could solve x equals my pseudo-inverse of a times b. So I'm not telling you what the pseudo-inverse is, but it's kind of like well, it's pseudo, it's a pseudo inverse for non-square matrices. So I can kind of invert it, the pseudo inverse, multiply that by B, and I should get another solution for Sally, John, and Bob. Okay, so the P inverse times B solution says, well, let's make them all equal. I have no bias towards Sally, John, or Bob, so they're all equal, and the best solution is they're all 20. Sally's 20, John's 20, Bob's 20. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. The pseudo inverse gives me one solution. A backslash B gives me another solution. That's totally fine because this is an underdetermined system and there are infinitely many solutions because I haven't given it enough information to uniquely determine a solution. Good, okay? Now, what if I take my original system, so this is underdetermined, but now let's go back to the system where I actually had enough information to solve it. I think it was uh, 2 Sally plus John minus Bob is 50, and then we had minus Sally plus John plus Bob equals 20. Okay, this was my kind of determined, you know, uniquely determined system. So there's one solution for Sally, John, and Bob's age that uniquely satisfy all three of these equations. 
And in general, you need three equations if you have three unknowns. If you have nine unknowns, you need nine equations, and so on and so forth. What if I tack on another equation? Well, chances are that other equation isn't going to jive with the solution to these three. So let's say I, my, my new equation is Sally plus John plus um, 2 Bob equals, I don't know, 100, right? Now, what did Sally and John and Bob equal? I think we had uh, Sally, John, and Bob was something like 20, 25 maybe, um, and 15. I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally solve this. So if I took Sally plus John plus 2 Bob, that's 50, 75. Okay, so it definitely doesn't equal 100. So it's very unlikely that if I just write down a random fourth equation, it will also satisfy the first three. So in this case, this is called overdetermined. I have too many constraints on what Sally, Bob, and John can possibly be, and so I've constrained myself out of any solutions. This has zero true solutions. There's no Sally, John, and Bob values that satisfy all four of these equations. So in general, if I have more equations than unknown, I run into the risk of having an overdetermined system, unless I have redundant equations. Okay? Um, and we can do the same thing as before. We can look at um, this matrix and the inverse and the pseudo inverse, and we can just say, well, A equals 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Oof, that should be a semicolon. Um, negative 1, 1, 1, semicolon 1, 1, 2. Let's make sure that works. Good. And my B vector is 60, 50, 20, 100. 60, 50, 20, 100. And again, I can try these different solutions. I can do A backslash B. I can do pseudo inverse of A times B. But none of these outputs of MATLAB are actually going to solve the system. MATLAB is going to give me what it thinks is the closest solution, the closest val values of Sally, John, and Bob that get close to solving this. But there are no values that exactly solve this equation. This is overdetermined. I box myself out of a solution. And this is a real risk in equations. You can have too many constraints and you won't be able to satisfy them all. That's totally reasonable. OK, so x equals a backslash b. Let's try that first. OK, so backslash thinks that the best thing is for Sally to be 25.7, uh, John to be 20, and Bob to be 24.3 years old. But if I plug this in, if I say, well, what is a times x? It only gets close to b. It's not actually that perfect, right? It's off by 10 in the first equation, 3 in the second equation, a 1 and a half in the third equation, and it's off by about 6 in the last equation. So it's close. These are close to the right, you know, these come close to solving this. But there is no unique solution of this, um, this system, and so MATLAB only gets close. Let's see what it, the pseudo inverse does. I'm just curious here. Pseudo inverse of A times B. Okay, it gives me, actually, it gives me the same, the same answer. Okay, so backslash and pseudo inverse looks like give me the same answer for overdetermined systems. And again, it's just trying to do its best job to get close to satisfying all of these, knowing that it can't actually solve all of them. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to show you is that even if I have three equations and three unknowns, so we know, we know that if we had these three equations, then the system does have one unique solution. But I could totally botch this by making one of my equations redundant, but with a different b value. Okay? So this is also um, overdetermined. It doesn't have any solution, because the first equation and the, and the third equation are contradictory. There's no possible way that Sally plus John plus Bob can both equal 60 and 20 at the same time. Okay? So this is another way of being overconstrained, even with three equations and three unknowns. So it's complicated. If I looked at the determinant of this matrix, you would see that the determinant is equal to 0. And if your determinant is equal to 0 of your matrix A, that's a dead giveaway that your system doesn't have a, unique, doesn't have a solution. 
So that's the last thing I'm going to show you is for this system, A equals 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. And if I look at the determinant of A, it's going to equal 0. And that means that it's very unlikely that I'm going to be able to solve this system unless I have a very special B vector. In fact, 60, 50, 60 would be the only way you could solve that. Um, so things get complicated, but you had these really great tools in MATLAB. You can compute the inverse, you can do backslash. If you have a non-square matrix, you can do pseudo-inverse. That works totally fine. Um, and so these systems of equations AX equals B are going to be extremely powerful. They don't just, they're not just useful for solving what people's ages are. Um, these could be any number of unknowns that you're trying to solve for with different constraints. Okay, thank you.